In today's video, I'm going to show you how to create incredible macro art using Epsom salt. To create those colorful crystal formations, Epsom salt is needed. Epsom salt is a chemical compound known as magnesium sulfate. It consists of magnesium, sulfur, and oxygen atoms. Epsom salt gets its name from the town of Epsom in Surrey, England, where it was originally discovered in natural springs. People commonly use Epsom salt for various purposes, including as a bath soak to soothe sore muscles. It's readily available and can be found in many supermarkets and is super cheap. When you dissolve Epsom salt in hot water, you create a super saturated solution, meaning the water holds more dissolved solute than it would at normal conditions. As the solution cools, the solubility of Epsom salt decreases and the excess dissolved salt begins to crystallize. During crystallization, magnesium sulfate molecules arrange themselves in a repeating pattern, forming the characteristic geometric shapes of crystals. The process is influenced by factors such as temperature, impurities, and the rate of cooling. Slower cooling generally allows for larger and more well-defined crystals to form. You can observe this process by preparing a concentrated Epsom salt solution allowing it to cool slowly and then noticing the formation of crystals over time. If you want to grow larger crystals, providing a seed crystal or a rough surface for the crystals to grow on can enhance the process. Let's start with a very simple example. I have mixed Epsom salt with water and shot a 24-hour time lapse. As the process is super slow, you can see that huge, thick crystals are forming. On the second slide, you can see that the structure and shape of the crystals totally change at the end. As the concentration is extremely high at the end of the time lapse, the growth rate goes up. This results in those tiny crystal structures which look quite similar to formations you can discover on frozen soap bubbles. Let's have a look how this huge, thick crystals looks in extreme macro. Of course, this looks not as amazing as the time lapse, but it is still very fascinating to see what happened during the last 24 hours at different locations with different concentrations of Epsom salt. When you take a closer look, you can see that there are triangles inside the structure. Those triangles are actually holes. I have no idea why those occurred but probably the salt molecules were pulled to the corners during the crystallization process. Maybe you are wondering where the colors are coming from. To transform an interesting crystal into colorful art, you just need to use polarized light. If you want to learn how to build this setup, I have linked another video with a tutorial for you in the video description. As I have taken hundreds of time-lapse videos of the crystallization process of Epsom salt, you maybe wonder how many slides I have wasted. The good news is I have used only two slides. After I have finished my time-lapse video, I added water on the slide, dissolved the salt again and used a hairdryer to initiate the process again. Now lean back and enjoy the second set of time-lapse videos. Break it down and make me leak again After all, I called you my best friend And I've been here, I'm not a story Broken hearts and us playing pretend
I hope that you enjoyed my video and that you learned something interesting today. If you want to see more macro videos, don't forget to subscribe to not miss any macro content.